Thank you for tuning in. This is Kevin Cardinale coming to you live. Uh, live to YouTube, my channel, Shikama Live. Today I want to discuss an issue that I'm, I'm pretty upset about. Uh, if you have watched any of my videos, you know uh, politically where I do stand, which is uh, with the Libertarian Party. I'm a Libertarian Party. I'm Libertarian minded. However, that also means that I don't castigate uh, any of the other parties. If they do wrong, I, I call it like I see it. If they do right, I call it like I see it. I think every American should be that way. This whole, oh, I'm a Republican, so anything that Democrats do, uh, I'm going to call them a, a liar or stupid for. Don't do that. Be intelligent. Uh, they're, they're playing you for a fool to begin with. The issue today I'm talking about is uh, all of the news media calling Obama wrong for agreeing to imposing tariffs on Chinese imported tires. So he raised tariffs on Chinese imported to, on Chinese tires coming into America to 35 percent and the media is saying oh the sky is falling whatever I don't know who I don't I don't even know whose corner of the media is I have no idea okay so let's get into the story officials with the United Steelworkers Union filed grievance with the White House urging President Obama to enact tariff barriers against Chinese made tires and here's what they wanted. Cap imports at their 2005 levels at 21 million units. It calls for half of the 2008 imports, half just three years later, uh, imports levels at 46 million units, value, valued at $1.7 billion. The quota would cap after three years, which means it would be lifted. Quota would have a 5% per annum increase in imports. Uh, the union believes that the upsurge in Chinese products is directly responsible for the slowdown uh, at American factories, i.e. Uh, Goodyear Tire and your rubber company. Uh, the United Steel Workers represents 15,000 workers and 13 plants nationwide. Uh, this their assumption is actually backed by uh, governmental findings. American manufacturing is struggling with the negative effects of unfair trade practices. Some 40,000 factories have closed just in the last decade. We've lost more than 4 million manufacturing jobs in this millennium. The Economic Policy Institute found that 2.3 million of these jobs are, uh, are linked to the increased trade deficit with the People's Republic of China. That was the Economic Policy Institute. Go look it up, research it for yourself. This is not the NBC. We want you to research my source, right? This is what China is doing. Their government subsidizes all of its exports industry so that the prices are ridiculously cheap. They dictate prices for all exports and simply cut them a check for the loss each year. Currency manipulation to keep the yuan drastically artificially low. China has a 10% growth rate over the past 15 years compared to the US which grows at 2.5%. That means that China should be growing the yuan should be growing at at least 10 percent uh, for the past 15 years. U yuan has not even changed in the past in two decades. Import quotas imposed on goods originating in the United States. Yes, that means China does not allow more than a specified number on any imports coming from the U.S. No U.S. company may manufacture items in China without a local company owning 51 percent of that company especially car manufacturers, imposes suppress wage laws to keep both wages drastically low and therefore the cost of living very low in China. 
the U.S. employs no protectionist measures against China. Under President Bush, any restriction suggest suggestions were summarily ignored. Okay, let's go briefly over the history of how we got to our current problem with China. Under George W. Bush, he wanted to sell the dollar. He wanted to grow the government. He more than doubled the government, the, 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 the uh, deficit, the deficit, not the trade deficit, the deficit. He more than doubled it in just eight years to ten trillion dollars. He made an agreement with China that he would allow them to enter the World Trade Organization, the WTO, as a tentative member. The other members didn't want China in the WTO because China has no recognition for uh, intellectual property, no copyright protection laws over there. Uh, they dump products at will. And they, they still and have and have always imposed tariffs on goods coming into China. The, under the World Trade Organization, the members of the club has free trade amongst each other. The members of the club do not dump. Bush pushed through China being a tentative member to the WTO. Which means they're not they're still not a full fledged member, they can go at any time. The other members are permanent. Seeing as they were the founders of it anyway. Now so we come full forward to the uh, United Steel Workers Union. Uh, this news just hit uh, the other week, and I've told you time and again that the mainstream media is not going to show you something until it's well past the actual event. United Steel Workers uh, petitioned the United States International Trade Commission back in the spring. They had already imposed the tariffs that they asked for back in the spring, back in the uh, in the summer. They they came to a final decision in the summer, at the beginning of the summer. Uh, this news story is just hitting what last week. Obama okayed the tariffs. Now all of the mainstream media, I don't I don't even know whose side they're on, saying Obama's a fool for standing up to China. Obama's doing the wrong thing. Oh, the sky's falling. What have you? Now that you know what China is doing, first of all, China should not be a part of the WTO. They should be kicked out. Uh, second of all, what Obama did is right. China is, ha, imposed tariffs, they impose uh, quotas, and they impose a whole host of restrictions on goods coming. That is not free trade with America. And they are being underhanded by dumping and dumping and dumping their product. They have more than doubled their product. You're not supposed to do that as part of the WTO. What the news should be saying is Obama should not only impose tariffs, they should kick them out of the WTO. Uh, Brazil immediately moved on that news. They imposed tariffs on China. They were, they were just waiting the other countries were just waiting for somebody to stand up, you know, to China. And they have. And, and there we have it. And, and China's afraid uh, that uh, there's going to be massive retaliation against them. As well there should be. Uh, once again, this is Kevin Cardinale out. Uh, we should be in the business of protecting our own selves. This United States is the world market. We are the ones holding the gun, not China. People fight tooth and nail to bring their products to the American market. That's another thing you should know. Okay? So when you see these other videos, tell them where to stick it. Thank you.